All right, blue thing. Give me a blue thing. I want to get characters. Uh, who am I gonna get? Mona, Kitching, or Chi Chi? One or the other. I'm not reading them. I am I gonna get at least one of them? I don't know. Or a new character unlock, or like a character star upgrade. I got a purple. Please tell me the purple is a character. Yes. No. 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 Oh. No. Purple weapon? No. No character. Damn it! Okay. Involuntary. Oh. You hear from Gangyu and Lan that the treasure hoarders of Onset and Liwei have band together and plan to get involved in some rooms associated with the Abyss Order. Fearing the chaos of the treasure hoarders might cause through involvement, you take up the commission and investigate. Oh, this is, the, this is the quest I was talking about. Wait, what is, what is this? It's a very important quest. I scream on the inside. I scream in my head. Whether it's because I uh, play games like this, which lead from one thing to the next, or it's always making me feel like dead. Also, oh, there's Gangyu. Yes, yes. Alien Felicity can go after anything. Who's they? Fun fact, Gangyu's like one of the oldest characters in this whole game. How old? Like, 3,000 something years old. I thought it was one of the other Chi-Sing or whoever it was. No, the Chi-Sing are human. They're not that old. Oh. They're that die are old. Oh, Traveler, it's you. Oh, it's you. Okay. What are you doing here with Do you have a commission you need to post? Hello. Hello. We were just discussing the treasure hoarders. Who are the treasure hoarders? Yes. We were just saying how even the audacious treasure hoarder should know better than to mess with the abyss. It's just too evil. Yes, because you're evil. That's all I have to say about them, except for whatever I have to say after this. But Two big time treasure hoarders in Leela and Mondstadt are planning some big joint operation. Ah, uh, I literally just forgot everything that was said, but I was just gonna uh, go with it. Two big time treasure hoarders? <clears throat> yes. They're known as Big Sis of the South and the Raptor of the North. Who? Oh, Raptor! I Does Big Sis mean she bosses people around? Is she the boss that the treasure hoarder is referring to? <laughs> God of Thieves. Okay. Anyway, the treasure hoarders discovered some previously unexplored ruins that the Abyss Order has been secretly guarding in the shadows. Ah, uh, wow. Despite how dangerous that makes it, all the treasure hoarders can think about is what kinds of treasure could be inside. Yes, because that, it sounds more like an explorer. Gee, what could be down there? Huh, it's like Main and Abyss. How far down could you go before you fall apart? They have already devised a plan. They will send out a decoy to divert the Abyss Order's forces away from the ruins. Then, send an expert thief inside to steal the treasure. Wait, are we talking about the Chasm? Or is this a different out of the area? No, this is another Chasm. Okay. <laughs> Damn it, Fontaine, I- Chasm is much longer than this. First of all, thievery is like a private thing, so when did this title become so public and well-known? Chasm's actually a really long quest, so... He is really good. <laughs> In the same way, because thievery has its own ranks. Just like the famous adventure Alice. Who the hell is Alice or Stanley? Did I just see someone run right across the screen? Literally saw With the major changes in Leola recently, the Ministry of Civil Affairs and the Millerwood already have their hands full. They don't have any time to investigate rumors about treasure hoarder activity. Yeah, because they were so busy with Rex Lapis, they forgot what they were doing and got distracted with other things. But anything related <clears> to the <throat> abyss makes me feel like... Some kind of danger opens beneath the surface. Also, why did that zoom in? Why did that zoom in? 
So I decided to come to the adventurer's to post a commission. Well, I'm here. What do you need? You could have asked. I, too, understand the nature of the abyss. I've fought it many times because I fought the thing that tried to control Dvalin. So, well, since I'm here... No. <laughs> Thank you so much. Fine. It's like, well, we'll do it. I'll take the case, I think, said Harvey Birdman. Fine. LAN, local area network. We will be reunited. Hall of the Abyss. Somewhere in between a rock. Uh, da, da, da. The ominous temptation, the abyss, lure, the brain, the foolish like. No matter the fate is brought to you, Heather, know that a new thread of fate is already being woven. Because reasons. I need ice. Don't know why I need ice. I'll just assume I do. But I'm probably gonna need fire. There's reasons, but I'll just go with it. Go. <clears throat> what do we do? Why are we doing it? I don't know. We're inside a place. We're inside of a place inside of another place. We're in a pocket dimension. Yes, obvious statement is obvious. Sure information is reliable. When is enough and reliable? Anifel. I'm gonna not fall. Yes, obvious statement is obvious. Who wants to get smacked? I bet you do. Get smacked really hard. Yes, you do. Smack really hard. Ooh. Get wacky macked. Smack. More? No? Good. Move it on. Oh, I think you can bring those boxes. Obvious statement is obvious. Ah, oh, dang it! Find the bubbles. Damn it, damn bubbles! Away, bubbles. like the Ascension music. I actually like that, by the way. Hmm. Hmm. Who do we find here? Obvious! It's obvious. Uh, what makes you think he is? He's obviously on his freaking knees, holding his hands together. What else could he be doing? What? A statue of the seven? <laughs> the yes, obvious statement is obvious. Uh, orb. Abyssal. Black wormhole. Purple thingy. Dead. There's no reaction or any sign of breathing. What a terrible place. How did he die? Mm. 
Man, let me take a pitch back, whatever the hell it is. Flee the ruins. Okay. Oh, dang. Ow. Oh! Damn it. How the hell did it, this thing... Oh, yeah, yeah. Crap! Oh, crap, I ran across one. Damn it! Platforms. Oh, crap, I touched it. Also, my camera froze. I don't know why. Damn it. I'm gonna freaking fix that. Alright, one second, ladies and gentlemen. And fixed. You have come here. You have seen our secrets. For this, you must pay the price. How much? As a herald, I will meet out your punishment. Okay. The, the one Dane spoke of. Dane. Oh, I thought you were just a couple of pests that stumbled in here by mistake. So, did he send you here to die? His resistance against the Abyss has gone nowhere for a long time. The Abyss is unstoppable. Okay. <laughs> Oh crap, did a uh, frickin' Noel die? Uh. Dang it, I need to hold it with Barb. I gotta hold this with Barb because everybody died out. Barb's the only one who can heal everybody. Come on, hang in there, Barb. Hold with Barb. Dang, Barb is hard. Alright. Uh, Am I Neo from the Matrix? Or no, wait, am I Jet Li or something? The from the movie The One? <laughs> uh You are the one. <laughs> that wasn't tough. I just basically held with Barb for a second. It seems to know me. Why? Nothing, what you got out here? Get gone, the Traveler and Paimon swiftly leave the ruins. Yay. So, we meet again. <laughs> A little sooner than I had expected. We meet again, at last. Wait, why are you waiting out here? Why are you waiting out here? Judging by your expression. It seems you just experienced something quite strange. Uh, we did. Could it be that you encountered an abyss herald in those ruins? How would you know? 
That is very coincidental to chill that you knew. Mm -hmm. How did you know this? I do know the abyss uh, there was something even stranger than the Abyss Herald. Actually, the Abyss Herald wasn't at all we encountered. Charles tells Danes about the strange statue and deceased thief. An inverted statue of the Fetter, holding abyss of power in its hands. Tell me the rest of what happened here. <clears throat> so you escaped the ruined depths. <laughs> I wonder. Are you the Abyss Herald? Yes. This is a <laughs> rare opportunity indeed. Come, let's catch up to it. Question oh, answered. Yes, sir. Let's go. A rare opportunity? With Dan helping out, maybe we'll be able to solve more mysteries about the Abyss. Maybe he is the Abyss Herald. <laughs> Where faith comes to crossroads. World level. Did I get to a world level three? Oh my god, I got to world level three. It's about time. Oh my god, I switched the gears to high gear. So Pyro, it's weak to Hydro, obviously. And then Cryo is obviously, it's weak to uh, Pyro. Mm -hmm. And then Hydro is weak to Cryo and Dendro. Mm -hmm. And then Electro is weak to Pyro, Cryo, and Dendro. Oh, and then Geo is only weak to Geo, it's weak to itself. So Electro is weak to Dendro. Yeah, Dendro, Cryo, and Pyro. Uh, okay. And I Geo is weak to Geo. I thought it was, like, I thought Electro was weak to Hydro for a second, but no, I was, I was completely wrong. No. And then, uh, Dendro is weak to Pyro, and then Animal is just neutral. Hmm. No. They were just digging through these abandoned ruins, looking for something of value. How would you know? Yeah, but when I look in random places, I have no idea where to go. This was very concentrated and very directed. Yep, those are important materials. Or maybe they weren't looking for stuff like that. They wouldn't be searching for such ordinary objects. I really keep thinking Dane's Leaf is a frickin' abyss herald, but that's just my opinion. In fact... I was nearby investigating precisely because abyss mages often come out from that ruin to explore. They seem to be searching the remains of ruin guards for a certain valuable object to take back to the ruin. How would you know? However, they look disappointed, so it would seem they haven't found it yet. Uh huh. Yeah, Master Luke's done that before. I certainly don't mean to be merciful towards these monsters of the abyss. Why not interrogate them? But I have a feeling mm. that their plan with this object is of major importance to the entire abyss order. Then interrogate them. One cannot discover the truth behind it through interrogation. Actually, you could, and also you sound like a cloud retainer for a second. Or rather, these abyss mages likely fear something else much more than they do a painful interrogation. Something related to what we saw in the runes? All right. We shouldn't waste too much time here. Let's continue our search. <sighs> okay. So it's a really good camera on a really crappy PC. Let me guess your ne next upgrade's gonna be a better PC. Oh, I do, but I gotta pay off a lot of bills first. <clears throat> there are no coincidences in the world. Everything is the fruit of seeds planted long ago. Uh, I really feel like what you're saying is, like, everything is based in the past. Like, not everything is set in stone, but you're kind of thinking it's that way. Just like your appearance in that cabin. Time. You're just waiting for those seeds to sprout. But I only heard about it by chance. Forget it. Just some needless music. He really thinks that everything is set in stone. Well, what about chance? Oh, well, that doesn't count. The connection between the Abyss Order and the Ruin Guards is by no means incidental. Are you saying it's intentional? Because I really feel like you're trying to say it. Rather, they are both branches that have grown out and up from the 
the same roots below. So they were fated, or was it by chance? Or did they just decide, I want to meet you? And the other guy was like, I want to meet you. Are you saying they're rooted in the same thing and they just diverged at one point? Or is it like a weird metaphor? What the hell is he talking about? Both originate from an ancient nation that was destroyed 500 years ago. Kanlia. Kanlia. because I have memories of Kunlia. You have memories of being there. But that was destroyed 500 years ago. I really feel like my character is a, a Tetis character from Final Fantasy X. Gee, how old is the character? How old is the Traveler, you wonder? Uh, I don't think the Traveler is, like, over 500 years old. I think, like, because the Traveler knows about Kunlia, it's this idea where she's been transported to the we'll see, we'll see. Is that so? Well, everyone has their secrets. You did not pry into mine, so I shall not pry into yours. I don't recall ever trying to pry into yours, even though I did have a lot of questions, but I really feel like you take a defensive stance there. But, if you would like to tell me, I will listen. So, the Kamri I you saw, what was it like? person woke me up, and the sea of flames, and that sea of flames, well, I can't hide it from him any longer. The sea of flames they saw 500 years ago in the god they encountered. Hmm. I see. So your first memory after coming to this world was being awoken by your brother from within that meteorite. And then your brother told you that the destruction of Kamria plunged the whole world into chaos, and that you two should leave this world called to that? The destruction of Kamria? He said that? Uh, correct. That destruction you witnessed, that's history from 500 years ago. It seems the first time you awoke in this world was indeed during that period. Huh. So your brother must have understood this world better than you did. Because he was on first. And it was shortly after that that you encountered an unknown god who blocked your path. So you couldn't escape. Oh, Paimon knows this part really well. How would you know? I saw you shortly after. I understand. When you awoke at that time and hurriedly tried to leave for another world... You didn't know anything about Kamria, but now, since you have come to gain some understanding of Tavat, you are able to guess that the war you witnessed all those years ago must be the war that ended Kamria. Am I right? Even I don't know. Hmm. If that's the case, you must have been flipping through all sorts of books during our adventure these past few months. Before going to Mondstadt, you had just looked at some <laughs> Rob's quest. Why you want in here, Patrick? Oh no, that's Cora. Who the hell is Cora? Me. This person also has a Fortnite character. Who? So the whole time you were just trying to learn more about Conria, so you could find your brother. Ah, uh, it's the second most promising lead after looking into Seven. Oh, yeah, you can travel around the Seven Nations. I don't know. Is it going to be related to a new update that's going to involve a new area that might give more filler and fetch quests later on in the near future to possibly give more lore related to this quest? Who knows? I probably know more Only the developers Korea know. Kanria was a nation without a god. Not because it had a god that died or abandoned them, but because it never had a god to begin with. Mm. It was a powerful nation. Built purely by humans. An unprecedented, flourishing, and glorious civilization. It was the pride of humankind. A nation without a god? 
Mmm. <laughs> Try saying, bringing that to all the Christians. Later events unfolded just as you remember. It was all destroyed by gods. Because I got jealous of a nation that was built without their help. 500 years ago, the gods descended upon the world and brought desolation to come. The pride of humankind was uprooted and crushed, like a weed removed from the garden of the gods. Hmm. The history books don't say anything about it. Hey, hurry up and find my brow. Yes, well, continuing to discuss the past now will only dampen our spirits. Uh, but next. The next time I see Venti or Zhang Li. Let's keep moving. I will tell you more of what you want to know. Okay.